Hello? Speaking? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yes, definitely. Send her over. 750 Queens Key West, Unit 302. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, I look forward to meeting her. Hey, are you Natalie? Yeah. This is the studio? Yes, it's my professional studio. Uh, and, and I live here too. Wow. Oh, please, come in. Well, would you like anything to drink? Water, tea, coffee? It's quite early. Um, no, I'm fine, thanks. Is there somewhere I can change into my outfits? Yes, right this way. Oh, there's a mirror here too. Perfect. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. My name is Mitchell Hart and I'm a detective with the RCMP. The police have asked my assistance in locating a missing person that had an appointment at this unit address yesterday. May I come in and have a chat with you? Sure. Come right in. Before I ask you any questions, can you please state your full name and date of birth? Luke Gerard, September 23rd, 1984. The missing person's name is Natalie Sonia. Do you know anyone by this name? Yes. Uh, a modeling agency sent her here yesterday to do some test shots for her portfolio. And what time did she arrive here? Around 10.30 in the morning. And has she ever visited you before yesterday? No. 
Did you know her at all before yesterday, either personally or professionally? No. And what time did she leave your apartment? Uh, I don't know. Um, when I fell asleep, she was already asleep in my bed. I intended on meeting Natalie professionally, but we had some drinks. One thing led to another, and... And? And we slept together. Look, I'm really worried about her. I like her a lot, and I'm willing to do anything it takes to help find her. Could she be at a friend's place? Is her phone on? The police have already contacted her friends and family. I'm here because you're likely the last person to see her. Can you please show me the photos you took of her? Definitely. Sorry, I don't know why they're not here. One sec. Calm down, Luke. Take a seat. It's okay. Breathe deeply. Everything's gonna be alright. We're gonna get you some help. Luke, how are you feeling? What's going through your head right now? What do you see? Natalie. What is she doing? I don't know. I can hear her. What do you hear? She needs help. She's screaming for help. What do you think happened to her? I have no idea. Did you photograph Natalie within the past few days? I think so. I don't remember if it was a dream. There aren't any pictures. Did you sleep last night? No. <sighs> Is there anything else on your mind? I'm going to give you some medication to take. You need to get some sleep. This will help you to calm down and collect yourself. I'd like to see you a few more times this week, if that's all right with you.
Dr. Bennington. This is Detective Mitchell Hart following up on Luke Gerard. Oh, hi, Mitchell. Uh, yes, regarding Luke, he's suffering from what we call a dissociative identity disorder. Although uncommon, it can typically be traced to an abusive childhood. His subconscious mind actively creates an alternate version of events to cover up less desirable ones in his conscious mind. He seems deeply affected by Natalie, and the fact that she's gone missing is wreaking havoc on his condition. Okay, so any ideas what could have happened the morning of November 21st? It seems the pictures aren't there because the photography never took place. Then what do you think they did? He claims they slept together. That sounds to me like an element of fantasy. Whatever happened in reality took place in an altered state of consciousness, so further questioning would only serve to worsen his condition. So that's it then? You just want me to stop questioning Luke, just like that? Mitchell, he's simply not aware of Natalie's whereabouts.